Are you having trouble picking the best microphone for your sound? Or do you want to know the four different types of microphones? What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. This is your boy Chibita and I am here to help. And welcome to my new studio, Radio Music. And today I'm going to discuss with you guys the four types of microphones and a few characteristics about them. <laughs> What is up guys? And if you see these beautiful creatures in front of me, these are the three of the four types of microphones that I actually own. And today I'm gonna discuss with you guys the four types of microphones and a few characteristics about them. But before we get started, if you guys are interested in anything that you've seen at my home project studio or my recording studio of radio music, please click below because I am an Amazon influencer and I have everything listed on there below. And I have other gear that could possibly help you on your creative journey. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video. The first microphone I'm talking about today is the dynamic microphone. That's the first type of microphone. This microphone is pretty much the workhorse of the industry. It's very heavy duty. It's the least expensive out of these microphones. And they're absolutely wonderful on vocals and acoustic instruments, including guitars. Also, the dynamic microphone can handle a high SPL, which is sound pressure level. Um, that's why you see a lot of the times your dynamic microphones are used in live performance performance more than the condenser microphones. This microphone can fall and hit the floor and they still will last. You can just throw them in a case behind the stage. I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm telling you guys, the Shure SM57, you can just literally hammer nails with those. And this right here is the D88S made by AKG. They're discontinued, but this microphone I've had for a long time and it's absolutely great for what it does. Live performances and vocals. The next microphone, as you can see, is the large diaphragm condenser microphone. I use this microphone more than any microphone that I own because it captures a lot, it's very sensitive. Any type of condenser microphone, you're gonna get more details in the recording because it's a highly sensitive microphone. And the reason why these microphones are called condenser microphones is because that condenser word is known as the capacitor in this microphone. It actually converts an acoustic vibration, guys, into an electrical signal. In order to do this, it needs a power source of 48 volts, which you guys know as phantom power. When you initiate the phantom power, this microphone works and it does what it's supposed to do, which is give you some great, awesome, very high detail recording. This microphone here is my Norman U87. And next thing about large condenser microphones, they are versatile. If you have one, most likely it's gonna pretty much work on everything you bring into that studio versus the dynamic microphone. The next microphone you see is the small diaphragm condenser microphone. This microphone is small, but it does pretty much what the large diaphragm condenser microphone does. Although a lot of them are omnidirectional and they have different polar patterns, they still kind of have that focused sound that I use for particular things. These microphones are really great in pairs. You can use them for stereo applications, which is really dope. And also you can use them for vocals, like including this blue right here, my blue amber. This microphone is great for podcast vocals and string instruments. Just because it's small doesn't mean it doesn't pack a punch because it definitely does. And the last microphone, I actually don't own this microphone. I love them, especially the Royer is known as the ribbon microphone. And you guys are like, why is it called a ribbon microphone? Exactly that. It has a ribbon of electrical conductor material inside of it. And back in the days, these microphones used to be really sensitive. They would actually break if you put a high SPL sound pressure level into it, which AKA volume screaming into the microphone. They were very, very sensitive and they could break easy. A lot of people really didn't buy into them like that, but they are really awesome sounding microphones. The ribbon microphone is really known for its vintage and warm tone, just like a tube microphone, but it's a slightly different sound. So I really do hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you guys wanna know my favorite out of the pack is I am a fan of the large condenser microphone because you can do so much with these microphones. They're very versatile and you don't 
don't have to have a lot of different kind of microphones. You have one really good condenser microphone, which I really, really, really do love. And I hope you guys got a lot out of this video. I just really want to help you guys on your creative journey and do as much as I possibly can. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss another video. Be sure to like it and comment your favorite microphone below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Archie Beats. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. You guys are absolutely awesome. This is your boy Archie Beats and I'm signing off. Archie Beats on the beat. Yeah.